Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Honda GX340. So I'm doing a voiceover right now because the start of this video, well when I started this video should I say, was about four months ago, five months ago. So the audio is very out of date after watching it through it just didn't really make no sense. So for the first bit I'm just going to be voicing it over. Luckily, however, I finished the video today, so I've got up-to-date audio for the rest of it. But yeah, all we're doing here is just stripping it down, taking the parts off, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, this didn't turn over when I first got it, so I was like, I'm just going to have to strip it down, figure out what's broken in it. Some of the parts are still sound as well. Um, I probably will reuse them. Um, but... As you'll see later on, some of it is just seen brighter days to say the least. So what I've just taken off there is the covers, the carb cover and also the recoil. It's always the first things to take off, it's easier to do it that way. And then you can get to all the other little finicky bolts, especially for the fuel tank. This one didn't have any fuel in, thank god. And then we've got the muffler off, the carb off and then the valve cover. It's always a lot easier taking things off than putting them back on, believe me. And then it's literally just, this, there's no real pattern to it. I just go with whatever's easiest for me in the moment. And then taking the valves off is nice and calm as well. It's so much more of a pain trying to adjust them, putting them back on. And in this bit, I had an absolute nightmare this day trying to get these bolts up. Because you can't really see that well from the video, but they're all like rusted in there. And at the time I just had like that weak little impact socket and it was just not it. And here you see me getting on, getting the rust remover on, trying to just like soak it out. But yeah, it did not go well. And then I think I come back like an hour later or maybe half an hour later to try and get it off. And this is the reason why I've not fixed it yet or even like had a go at it because I knew I couldn't get the bolts out. But, as you'll see in part 2 of this video, I have the right tools now, so it was light work. Past AJ would be very proud of me. So I started making this video a while ago, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, in that time, fuck me, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I've got new tools, so I can... Because at the end of that video, when I stopped recording, I couldn't get the fucking bolts out of the thing. Because they were like seized in there. But I've got them out since then. So here is the rest of that video. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, that always looks good. Maybe it ain't going to be that bad. That is a good sign. But the rest of it, as you can see, is fucking seen brighter days. Um, I bought this f like six months ago as well. And it's just, it's uh, been <laughs> one of those engines that have been in the back of all the videos. I'm actually finally getting around to um, like sorting it out and actually trying to bring the old girl back to life. I've just dropped something though down there. been a crazy like couple months for me so um making videos has been a bit difficult but I'm back again still spins in that the only problem that I'm like I probably might have is in the bore in the bore in there there's a bit of rust but that could just be from where that I'm loved for such a long amount of time. What I'm hoping is get some scotch bright on it, sort it out, and I won't bore you all with actually cleaning this thing up. Okay, sound, that's the oil. One thing uh, I'm like notorious for doing is forgetting to tighten up, tighten the nano up, and then they're just sitting in my container, just like leaking. Like, Where's the oil come from? Like, oh, guess he didn't tighten it up. Right. Next, we will shall take this side off. It's 12. And we'll get the big impact out. One, two, there we go. This is a, an absolute beast. 
Um, actually, doo -doo. pinch that. When I bought this, like, it's definitely overkill. It's got about a thousand newton meters of breakaway, which is just like ridiculously over the top. But I thought at some point. I'm gonna need it, and it's gonna annoy me. So, yeah. So the classic X, boom, just like that. I'll probably just skip through it like whilst I'm editing, but you'll see in the start of this video, woof, I was struggling getting these bolts out, and this thing doesn't even blink. It's so, so strong. Move that over a little bit so you can see a bit better. Such a beast. It was expensive though, don't get me wrong. But for peace of mind that it's gonna work every time. It's more than worth it, man. But if you've been here for any amount of time, you must have seen me struggling before to get bolts out now. No bolt is safe. But I bought this as well because like trailers and stuff. Nightmare when like the wheels are on. 200 newton meters. And just cannot get off any other way. These are those nice fly wheels. Where you can put a balance pod in them and just pull it straight off. This is like sealed. She just took a bit of convincing, that was all. So it should just fucking pop off now. Thinking with my head. Clean that off. Some WD 40. You can use any sort of ball for this, really. But the good thing about this, or GT85, if that's what you use, is it should help to break down the rust. Get some Scotch Bright. Let's try and get that top layer off. advertising there for WD-40. So, all of this here is coming up. I'm right, just gonna take a minute. So, guess who forgot to record their audio? I've had to just speed it up because it was like 10 minutes, which was annoying. But I found some damage on one of the uh, gears in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is change the oh, wrong way. Turn the speed right down. Boom, just like that. Next, yeah. Turn this around again. Put that over there, out my fucking way. And that too. Now, the fun of getting off the piston. Oh, I might get away with this actually. That wasn't very tightly done up. Oh, I should be able to just get them out of my fingers. Go 
through that again. Hmm, that's a bit of one. A little bit, little bit. That should just push that through. Fuck me. Do 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 do. Come on. Ow. There we go. That's got scratches all down it. Let's have another look in that bore. Um, should just come straight out. Nice. There's no signs of wear or breaks on this, which is cool. Now the last thing I'm going to check before I begin the cleaning process is the bore. Because I want to know the state of it. Well, I guess in there. I forgot about that. Come on. This is the first one I've ever seen that has the, has two fucking wires coming out of it. So weird, I actually don't know why either. I reckon I'm just gonna nick loads of parts off that engine and rebuild this one. It makes the most sense. Right. Now, have a little look see at the bore. Does look. Not sure if that surface layer if that's actually in. Hmm. That's just where. Try and clean that up and then have a look. So I mean that's the be all end or if that's broken. I mean if that's like wrecked then that's it. Let's see if there's any more cracks in it. There is quite a few like hmm. It sticks to literally everything. weird so so let's show you on the video see that there where I'm shining the light there's like so that something's worn it down but I don't know what so weird Still a bit oil in this, it's hard to see. Oh. Right, one sec. Try to get the excess oil out. Some weird stuff's happened in this engine, and I'm actually just a bit baffled. Get some brake cleaner. I don't know what the fuck could have done this though. Maybe I'm just not well versed enough.